Hello everyone and welcome to our guide on how to become an ARC admin. Let's face it, ARC is a difficult game. There's no getting around that. Especially when you're starting out, you're bound to die quite a few times. And then starting over is just a big pain in the butt because you have to go find your items, maybe even make a new bed. It's just a large pain. Wouldn't it be better if you could, I don't know, change into god mode? Well, today we're going over how to do that by making yourself an admin. Adding an admin server password. This is the first step that we'll need to take in order to do this, so stop your server with the red stop button and double down once you see the pop-up. Once your server has stopped fully, which may take a moment, you're going to locate the general settings, which happen to be under the settings section on the left hand side. You're going to select that. From here, in this new page, you're going to locate the base settings, which is luckily right down below a couple of scrolls, and you're going to locate the admin password. By default, it is a bunch of random letters and numbers, but for today's example, I'm going to go ahead and put it in as example pass. Once you are secure in your password, you're going to click the green save changes button, and then you'll see the settings have been changed, then you're going to start your server back up once more. When the pop-up appears, you're going to double down on the green start button. Then you'll be good to go. Using Arc to get admin. This first process is relatively simple. The first thing that you're going to need to do is open up your console in the server. From here, you're going to type in the command enable cheats and then you're going to type in the password of your admin, which in this case is again example pass. Then you're an admin. It's literally as simple as that when you're doing it through Arc. Adding admins with Steam IDs. This process is a little bit more lengthy, but it is worth it, I promise. What you're going to do is head to steamid.io, and in the lookup section, you're going to type in the username of the person you want to admin. Note that this is their Steam username. What you want to locate here, though, once you've found the username, is the Steam ID 64. And on the right-hand side of that big long number, you'll see a copy button. Go ahead and select that copy button, and make sure that it is, in fact, the Steam ID 64. Then head to your general settings and scroll quite a ways down until you finally find the settings section of player. Once you find the player section, you're going to see there's admins right in the middle there. And you're going to just paste in the Steam ID 64 of the person and then hit the green save changes button. And then you're going to head back to your dashboard and restart the server. The benefit of doing it this way is that you no longer have to add in the enable cheats code in the console in the game. Important admin commands. We're going to cover just the bare basics of very important commands. The first is, of course, being enable cheats. This is, again, how you enable cheats for an admin without having to use their Steam ID. Next, of course, is cheat god, and that one is pretty obvious. You just become indestructible. Cheat ban players next, and, well, you're going to want to know this one in case there's any trolls out there. All you do is type in cheat ban player and then their Steam ID. Finally, cheat set time of day is useful and just a fun one that I think is important because it can change the time of day, which is really helpful if you're like me and can't really stand looking at the bright sun all day. You can set it to night, of course, but if you're tired of night, you can always set it right back to day. There you go. Conclusion. Well, that covers how to add admins and just a couple of cheats. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that we know this is the type of content you like to see. Until next time. Huh.